Hey friends, as many of you may know, I am in Pennsylvania. My lease in Florida was at its end and instead of re-signing, uh, I decided to take some time off. I was looking for a different place actually anyway, but I took some time off because my father did recently die. So my mother is up here and I wanted to come up and just be around her, be family and you know, just kind of you know, be there for her. So I decided to come to Pennsylvania. I'm gonna take about maybe a month until I end up going back down to Florida. Uh, but in that meantime, I planned on doing very cool, like one day trip vlogs. Um, I just did some amazing vlog work at a special place I can't really talk about because I'm waiting for the vlog to get approved, but the vlog's made and it has to do with Walt Disney. I just need it to get approved and then I can just publish it. But I don't want to get into that yet. Anyway, so in Pennsylvania, I plan on going around, possibly going to Disneyland, New York, a lot of other cool places that I've always wanted to film and vlog at. And I was trying to brainstorm how I can bring a little Disney to Pennsylvania. I wish I could have brought some of Disney's nature and weather to Pennsylvania, but can't do that sadly no what I decided was I remember on Instagram uh, I was following uh, an Instagram called Mickey's mystery box which is a subscription box and I remember talking to them saying that they wanted to send out a box have me go through it review it they asked me a bunch of questions and I thought that's a great idea I'm gonna bring a little Disney to me so that is what I did and that is what I got. So today I am going to open up my first ever Mickey's Mystery subscription box. And here it is. Look at that. Your friends at Mickey's Mystery Box for Nathan paging Mr. Morrow. That is pretty awesome. Comes in just a regular flat rate box. But I am excited to open this and see what mysterious things there are in here. Oh, before I do that, I am going to get all the supplies because I tried to open a box on camera before and it actually was a process and I looked like... <laughs> so I'm going to get it ready. Okay, I got all my supplies needed to open up this box. And uh, let's get in there and see what it beholds. Not only am I going to show you the context of the box, like what's in the box, but... They also gave me a promo code that you guys can use in case you want to join the subscription boxes. Like I said, it's a pretty nifty idea. And uh, they asked me a bunch of questions, like my favorite Disney attractions, characters. And they asked me a very important one, what don't I like? So that they can customize a box without anything that I know except for the things that I like and the things I don't like. So I'll put all that information in the description below. And, uh, let's do this. Okay. A little look-see down in there. Oh, I see this immediately. Ooh, flower and garden. A little passport they throw in there for you. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Yes. Look at this, Flight of Passage Expedition. I really like this hat, actually. Wow, I am a little shocked by that. Wow, nifty. What else we got in here? Huh. Oh, oh, oh. got something else, got something else. <gasps> Shut up. Look at these socks. Look at them. Oh my word. Oh man, Dinoland, USA, Dumbo, Epcot, Hollywood Studios. I love these socks. They're going to go great with my monorail socks. Awesome. Oh boy, now I'm like getting like super excited. Like, what else? Is What's in the box? Ooh. This is cool. I've actually never done one of these. I'm kind of interested. The Metal Earth Star Speeder 1000. 
Wow. I'm excited for that. Oh, all right. I guess there's just a lot. Uh-oh. I feel like there's something heavy at the bottom. Maybe I should start on this side. Hello there. <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh, it looks like it's a mug. Oh, we have an autograph book. That's pretty awesome. What else? Oh, yeah. The magnetic set of all the Disney snacks. Get this, a Mickey pretzel, Rice Krispie treat. Even though I don't see any Mickey pizza that has Mickey-shaped pepperoni anywhere in the parks, but... Who's judging? Not me. All right, and then of course, the Epcot 35 mug. Look at this precious baby. Ha! Ah! Almost lost it. So overall, I feel very satisfied with my findings in the box. Like I said, I absolutely love the socks and the hat. I mean, it's no summertime hat or bowler hat, but pretty fancy it's pretty nice I like it but overall like I said it is a good value because even if you did buy all these things uh, retail or at the character warehouse uh, it doesn't cost that much more than what you would have paid for for someone to put it together ship it up and kind of give you a surprise so if you're like that type of person who likes I don't know opening a box not knowing what's inside you'll like this I mean, I might as well just put this coffee mug to use right now. Ooh, that's hot. Oops. Oh, um. Okay, I take care of that. Magic. So, I think after I finish up my delicious coffee and my Epcot 35 mug, I am going to edit this vlog and then head to Hershey Park. It's about two and a half hours from here. But I'm excited to go there, and I'm excited to vlog it. So, I guess love the life you live. And also, thank you to everyone that helped support the channel, either by sending me money through PayPal or becoming a Patreon. You guys absolutely rock. Thank you very much. And I'm happy I'm doing this. So, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Is the cup half full? Or is the cup half empty?